So Deep Time is a huge projected artwork, um, projected onto Castle Rock and Edinburgh Castle. And what people will see is a whole series of different imagery and animation that we've created that attempts to tell the story of Deep Time, um, tell the story of Edinburgh and tell the story of James Hutton, the uh, famous uh, Edinburgh Enlightenment figure. So this year is our second year collaborating with Edinburgh International Festival and Edinburgh University. Working with the university is invaluable to us. It's, it's incredible to be, have the sort of resource and backing of some incredible brains. When we're making a show like this, we know what we want to do in terms of making exciting visuals and making something that excites an audience. Um, but what I think is very exciting is taking the creativity of academics, who are all people who are very creative in how they want to um, disseminate their subject to the wider world and sort of take their knowledge and the, the, their passion and for us to draw on that to tell some really interesting stories is, is fascinating. Deep Time is really, it's the, um, it describes the age of the earth. It's a phrase that encapsulates the very long timescales needed to produce the world around us. So I'm interested in the kind of the imaginative challenges and the way in which um, thinking about um, the, the difficulty of imagining deep time helps us to think about some more immediate questions uh, like ecological crises, uh, the loss of biodiversity, climate change. And I think that poetry can play a really important role in engaging us in thinking about these very difficult questions. I think it's really important that academics find ways to to communicate with people um, in ways that are engaging and exciting that, that charge the imagination. And I think what 59 Productions and the Edinburgh International Festival have been able to do is show how um, astonishing and inspiring uh, deep time can be and hopefully that will spur some conversations about how we can imagine better futures as well. I've primarily been helping with gathering information about um, what environments the, that were present in Scotland through geological time, what fossils and animals would have been present, um, and also helping collate names of famous geologists that were either working or living in Scotland um, through time and how they helped to form our idea of the geological history of Scotland. The university is something that's there for everyone and it receives like public funding and we have a responsibility to really uh, show the world and certainly the population of Scotland what we're doing with our time, how we're doing our research. I think as a sort of a spectacular event that will inspire people to learn more, this is a really amazing opportunity. One of the things we wanted to do was, because these images go out around the world, you want to reflect a little bit about what Edinburgh is like. And there are many elements to Edinburgh, um, and certainly one of them is as a centre of learning. Um, it certainly is a centre of technology, it's a centre of extraordinary built heritage. Um, but I think as a centre of learning, it's, um, that has to be one of the, the main messages we want to send out. The Deep Time event brings together all of our skills and expertise in what we're calling the digital art but really it's a bringing together of the sciences, of the humanities, of the social sciences and of creative, the creative disciplines. Uh, and the digital arts allow us to work across those boundaries and produce something immersive, life-changing, uh, you know, at a real moment of technological and social change, bringing all of those disciplines together in the way that only the University of Edinburgh can do uh, is extraordinary and something we need to grasp.